So, I know I haven't uploaded on any channel, seeing as we have two now. I think uh, the family channel kind of died before it started. I just stopped uploading about four months ago. I'm going to sort that out. Don't worry. And obviously, I've been quite quiet on this channel. You haven't seen any content, um, you know, that I've really wanted to make for a while. Some different shit. <laughs> but obviously, what are we now? Eight? Months and two weeks. Yeah, I think so. In so the baby's due date is in two in, weeks time. Yeah, thirteen days. So we don't have long. It can be born any moment. Um, huh. It's hard, isn't it? You don't really know how to say. Yeah. To start it off. Because I, I don't want it to make it sound like it's some really bad news. Because it's not really bad, but it's, it's not worrying. great. It's not great. It's not ideal. No. Um. Obviously, nobody would want it to happen. No. Um, but it is what it is. So throughout pregnancies, when you go to midwife uh, meetings... Appointments. Appointments. You, um, you get the standard sort of like, they take your blood pressure, they take your urine, yeah. <clears throat> my voice, Jesus, fuck. Um, and then they measure you. Yeah, and then they, they measure up the bump. Mm -hmm. So after a certain amount of weeks, the measurement from the top of your bump to your pelvic bone, like at the top of your vagina, uh, is the amount of weeks the baby is growing. I, I, does that make sense? Like, you're meant to measure up in centimetres the same weeks that you are in pregnancy to make sure the baby's growing right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a midwife, uh, but that's kind of what we got told. So up until yesterday it was, um, the baby was measuring... <laughs> Uh, our son, not the baby, uh, was measuring up perfectly fine. And um, this, like, we have an appointment every two weeks. Yeah. At, like, now we're in the third trimester and, like, near enough giving birth. We're, gi we're giving birth. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we, we've had appointments every two weeks. Every measurement's been fine up until yesterday, and he hasn't grown in the last two weeks. Mm. At all. No. Um, which is slightly concerning. A baby at the end of its pregnancy, I don't know, at the end of its intuition, I, I, what's the word? It, oh God, it's probational no. period in the womb. Yeah, <laughs> you should be growing really yeah, fast. Yeah, this last bit is when they get fat. You know, he's fully developed now, he just needs to get fat. And he's not getting fat. This could be down to two things. Either the measurement was wrong. Yeah. Uh, and he was just in a weird position. They, he didn't measure up properly. Which would be the better option for us. Or he's not getting enough nutrition because there's a problem with the placenta. Either mm -hmm. it's got detached from Abby or it's got Quite twisted up. up. And he's not getting enough nutrition to grow. That's not a great thing. No. If he's not getting enough nutrition to grow... He's not going to be healthy, and it's just not a great thing. No, there'll probably be a little bit of... He'll have to go in, like, an incubator. He, would have to, he probably wouldn't have to go in an incubator. He'd just have to come out today. Yeah. So now we get onto this. I'm going to try and post this video at the same time that we're at... The hospital. At the hospital. We have an emergency uh, scan booked in for 3.30 today. It's currently 11 o'clock in the morning filming this. Um... If the baby is measuring up small, if he's not as big as they want him to be. Mm. And they see like a problem. And they see if there's a problem with the percent or something like that because he's not growing. Um, they're going to induce labour. Mm -hmm. Which is really scary because I'm really not ready for that. <laughs> so... It's just not ideal, yeah. isn't it? Was... I, if they do induce labour, it'll be because it's the healthiest thing for the baby, so I don't mind. Mm. Because above anything else in the world, that's the most important thing to me. Exactly. So if he's healthier coming up today, fuck it, I'm fine, I don't care. Well, I do care, but do, do you know what I mean? Mm. If he stays in, cooks a little bit longer, that's again, fine. It's, it's fine. Either way... 
like, there's a positive and a negative to everything in life. There could be something wrong with me in general. Yeah, like, like because Abby asked for a diabetes test, they refused to do it because she was over 20 weeks pregnant, which made no sense. And I don't, and it doesn't run in the family, even though I did tell them that my mum... Yeah, your mum had pregnancy diabetes. Yeah. So you thought you might have it, uh, but they just went, oh no, it's fine. Brilliant. So it could be something um, wrong with Yeah, myself. so you could be diabe- <laughs> di- diabetic. Diabetic. Um, but I doubt it. Um, if anything's happened, it's because of the placenta either detaching from Abby or getting twisted up. Um, if he is small, he gets popped up today and uh, he gets on the nip, gets fat. It's all good. He'll just be really tiny. Yeah. It's, it's like that with life, though. You know, there's positive positives and negatives mm. to literally anything. The best way to stay positive in life is literally when a negative thing happens, you find this small positive in it, there will always be one, and that's the bit you concentrate on. If the baby has to come out sooner, we get to see him sooner. Exactly, and it'll be cute. Like, that's a positive. He's, he's gonna be healthier coming out sooner if that is what they pick. So that's, that's the positive, like he's getting help. If he stays in there longer, he's healthy. That's a positive. So either way, I'm just going to look at the positive side of whatever the situation is. So it's just scary. It's just scary. And especially that we had to wait a whole day as well for this scan. Yeah, because we, we went to our midwife appointment literally a day ago. Literally a day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like midday yesterday. And um, they said, yeah, we'll book it in for 3.30 tomorrow. Uh, which is, um, yeah, a nice 24 hours to um, really get nervous. Which was nice. Um, I did end up calling the um, Rosie to ask if they had any like appointments because mm. I was so worried I was actually crying. But they said no. Well, it's probably not an emergency in that sense. Then mm. if it, if they're like, oh, if he's still moving, his heart's still beating, he's fine. Yeah. That's bless. As long as he's alive, I don't give a fuck. Do you know what I mean, as long as he's gonna survive, I don't care. My my. Kid could come out with no limbs. As long as he's alive, I don't mind. I just want him to be happy and healthy. That's it. Exactly. That's so, I just want the best. Well, I guess having no limbs isn't really that healthy, is it? No, but you can get prosthetic ones now. So. Yeah, okay. he'd be like a little fucking Spider-Man. He'd be sick. But yeah, life goes on. Is what it is. There's if you guys want, to stop it. Yeah, exactly. Um, if you guys want any updates, I'm really, again, I, I'm trying to post this when we're going in for the scan. So, my updates throughout the day will be on my Instagram story and Abby's Instagram, which are on the screen, shebang. Um, so yeah, if you're not following us already, uh, follow us and stay tuned. Um, well, I, the positive as well, I've got to say one more positive, is that we get to see him. Oh yeah, on the scan. Again, a, on the scan. We haven't had one since 20 weeks, so it's going to be like a massive Yeah, it's been shock. like 18 weeks since we've seen him. Yeah. Which is a long time. Sorry, I just had to say that. Yeah, thank you for butting in, <laughs> fucking rude bitch. But yeah, do you want to slow on your bum? Here you oh. go. Let's, let's whip it out. Get it out. Brilliant. Oh, That's your well, tip. No doubt. Hello. Oh. Hello. Oh no, why do you have to show all the poor stretch marks? It's natural. Yeah, I love your stretch so marks and I love sore. you as well. I love you with any imperfection that you have. If he does come today, we don't have a name yet, which is, again, probably the most worrying part. Yeah. Um, I still like the name Hunter. Hunter Fox. Cool name. But when you Google it, it's a gay porn writer that talks about getting raped by dinosaurs. So it's a 50-50 whether I call him that, because mm-hmm. I don't want it to be affiliated with dinosaur sex. Yeah, but but I'd quite him like him to have a good name. No, but he'll have your middle name, so it won't be Hunter Fox. It'll ha- no, it'll have your name as its middle name. Hunter Michelangelo Fox. No, Kenneth. Hunter Michelangelo. My- Hunter Michael Fox. Hunter Michael Fox? Yeah, no, fuck that. No, it doesn't sound right. No, Hunter Angelo doesn't. Fox. Hunter Who can take my middle name? Fuck yeah. it. He can have that. But yeah, um, thank you guys for your support. As always. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm sorry I'm not uploading. Again, uh, my life has been hectic as fuck recently, as you can probably tell. Um, but yeah. Oh, wait, the cot's behind you, Abby. Do you want to move? Just so they can see that. Look how oh, cute yeah. that is. Got a little car. And the little thing in the background. That yeah. Just, just, just that thing there. I'll zoom into it. Yeah. That is a fucking egg. Dragon's egg from Lord of the Rings. Is it Lord of the Rings that's dragons or is that Game of Thrones? I have no clue. I've never watched any of them. Uh, <laughs> fuck knows. Probably Game of Thrones. Comment down below. I don't know. Any uh, messages appreciated. Any 
comment is appreciated. Mm. You know, any good wishes are appreciated. We did receive quite a lot of messages. Yeah, we received. Like, obviously, I posted my story yesterday that I was yeah. going to make this video, and um, it's just nice to know that people care. Cheers, guys. Also, rest in peace to Etika. Fucked. That's all I'm going to say. It's Fucked. Really sad. If you guys need any help, if you guys are feeling like shit. Please, like, even just message me. I'll try and reply. Um, yeah, fuck that shit. It's uh, it's too sad. Mm. It's too sad. Peace.